I'm documenting ages and stages next on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. Welcome back to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. I'm Victoria and here on this channel, we feature all things scrapbooking and crafting and everything in between. If that's something you enjoy, click the subscribe button and click the bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time a new video is posted. So today I'm creating a 12 by 12 layout that's all about my daughter, Corinne, who is turning 13 this month. And as much as that makes me happy and excited for this new stage as she goes into her teen years, it is a little bit bitter bittersweet. So I'm going to be doing a layout where I talk a little bit about that ages and stages, right? Let's get into it. So for this project, I'm scrapbooking two three by four inch photos of my daughter. This first one, Corinne was six years old and we went to a puppet show. You can see those scary little puppets in the background. And I took her little picture there. And then this is one that I took recently and she is going to be 13 years old this month. And for those of you who have been with me for a while, you knew Corinne when she was four because that's when I started my channel back in 2014. And since that time, she has just grown into a fantastic and very talented young woman, Brie and I are very, very lucky. As far as the kid lottery goes, we struck out. She is an amazing kid. One of the things that I'm finding a little bit difficult as she's entering the teen phase is just recognizing one that this time seems to have gone by super, super fast. But also too, we're hitting yet another stage of development that's going to bring wonderful changes and whatever challenges that it brings in the teen years. And so usually around this time of the year for her birthday, I will do a, well, two layouts really, one about her birthday. And then of course, one about the changes uh, as she gets older. Um, also, I went to labor with her on February 14th. So usually I like to do a layout to celebrate that. But when this little picture there at the top came up in my Facebook memories, I thought, you know what, I want a scrapbook about this and how I'm kind of feeling as she is uh, individuating and becoming more mature and really coming into her own. So that's what this layout's all about. I recently got my new Hip Kit Club kit from January. I did post the links in the description. And what I want to do is create this really fun background using these gorgeous pattern papers. So I love the floral as well as that notebook paper. And I just tore that at the top so that it has a nice distressed look. Next, I'm going to back the three by four uh, photos with some pattern paper from the kit. I love just cutting into that new pattern paper. Sometimes it's too pretty to cut in, but you know what? We paid for it, cut into it and use it on a project. So I'm going to back both of these photos just to give it a little bit more of a pop on the layout. And in this particular collection, there's a sticker sheet that has little pockets, like pockets that you would see like on a jean jacket or whatnot. And I thought those would be really fun to create some embellishment clusters. But first, I want to go ahead and pop up these photos and make sure that I have them positioned. Normally, whenever I'm creating a layout, my photos are typically side by side or layered. However, for this layout, I have the photos opposite and that was kind of done purposely because I want those photos to kind of stand on their own. So the photo at the top of my daughter when she was six and then the photo at the bottom of her now almost 13 years old. Before I start embellishing, I do want to get the title done. I found this die cut in the collection and it says life taught me to cherish these moments or life taught me to cherish moments, I think is what it says. And I'm going to take the letter stickers that came with the kit and I'm going to spell out I blinked because it really feels that way if you are a parent or a parent figure to a young person. It seems like they just grow overnight from the moment they're born until like forever. And I distinctly remember her being six, right? Being in kindergarten and all that entailed. And then now I look at her and she is this teenager who is doing great things. And it just seems like, it just seems like I blinked and overnight there she is, this, this teenager. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking some of the pockets from the sticker sheet. These are so much fun. So if you have this kit, make sure you use this element. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to create a really beautiful layered composition with two of the pockets there at the top and then one at the bottom. So I'm going to have a little bit of an asymmetrical design somewhat for this one. So I have the yellow with the orange uh, top at the or orange at the top of the pocket there by the top photo. There's this blue uh, pocket that has little blue polka dots, so tone on tone, and then another one with a stitched border design. And I'm popping all of these up on foam, and I'm just kind of trimming a little curve at the bottom so that it fits nicely with the pockets. And once I have those positioned, I'm going to go ahead and adhere those down. 
And then what I'm thinking is I'm going to add some layered elements. I'm going to add some florals and some other things to really make those little pockets stand out. Now, the cool thing about the sticker sheet is that it comes with all these little decorative elements that you can add to these pockets so you can customize them if you want. Now, there's not a guide as to what stickers go with what pockets. You basically have creative freedom to create any type of design on your pockets. So I grabbed the sticker that mimics a ruffle. So I'm going to put that there with the yellow pocket. Then this other little, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's kind of like the inside flap of a pocket. Like if you, if you turned it out, then you would see a pattern. And then there's a little floral ruffle, two floral ruffles that I put there at the bottom. There's also some button stickers, which I thought were really precious. And then at the top is a buckle, which I really wanted to use the buckle. I don't know any pockets that have buckles. I don't own pants that have pop or buckles on the pocket, but it's there, so I'm going to use it. I also added a bow to the top right pocket and then another little heart to the top left pocket. And these are so cute. I'm actually squealing as I'm putting this layout together because it's just so adorable. The collection also comes with, or the kit rather, comes with these die cuts. I actually have the main scrapbooking kit and the um, scrapbook embellishment kit. So those are two separate kits that you can purchase with the Hip Kit Club. And I linked both of those down below. By the way, I am not an affiliate or anything. They don't have an affiliate program at Hip Kit Club. I've just been a customer for a very long time and I absolutely love their kits. So as you see that I'm positioning some flowers to each pocket both leaves and florals, just try to make a layered composition because I thought that would look really, really sweet. And I am adding, oh, of course, adhering those down to the page. And then later on, I'm going to add some more dimensional little elements just to kind of finish out the pocket design. I play around with this for a little bit until I get a composition that I love. So each pocket is getting the same treatment with the layered florals, adding in little details here and there to really make those pockets look fresh and, and full. I love that look. You guys know that I love to layer. So this was totally my jam. This is the type of element in the past I would have not used. But does this layout have any Anything to do with pockets? Absolutely not. But what a fun composition to make just taking a chance on some of these elements. So I highly recommend that you do that. Okay, so I'm adding in the last bits of the florals and I'm also popping up some of these with some foam squares just to have a little bit of height and dimension since the pockets themselves are popped up. I'm going to bring out some chipboard and some puffy sticker sheets that came with the kits. This one says, never forget this. And so I'm going to layer that there at the top pocket. That's a chipboard label. The other one says uh, childhood memories, which of course was perfect for this particular layout. And then I'm going to add in a little rainbow just to bring in some more texture and movement. This one, I'm going to add a little camera. And at the top, I'm kind of fishing around. I want to say, what is that? A little notebook of sorts I can't see here as I'm narrating this. I swapped that out for a circle chipboard piece that says real life. Next up, I noticed that there are some little puffy dots there at the bottom of this particular puffy sticker sheet. So I'm going to sprinkle those around the page just to add some movement. And there's a lot of them. So of course, I can use them on multiple uh, projects along the way. So I add some to the top left the bottom left pocket as well as the top right pocket, just adding a little bit more whimsy to the scrapbook page. And lastly, I'm going to add the journaling to the page. And what I do is I create a text box of Microsoft Word type up my journaling and then I print it on vellum. This is Hero Arts layering vellum. It's some of my favorite and I'm using some adhesive from scrapbook.com permanent adhesive to adhere that down and no you cannot actually see the, he the adhesive behind the vellum. And of course it wouldn't be a Victoria Marie Designs layout if I didn't add a tab and so to the tab I'm going to add Corinne's age the top photo being age six and the bottom photo being age 12 and I will do that off camera. So I'm trying to decide where I want those tabs and I decided, you know, to the left side of both of the photos it goes because I think it looks a lot more balanced. I really love the overall design of this composition. Those pockets are just so much fun to create with the layered clusters of flowers. And of course, this story means so much to me and I can't wait to add this to Corinne's scrapbook. I love documenting ages and stages and really writing down and making sure that I'm documenting how I'm truly feeling about each age and stage as it comes. It's both exciting and super bittersweet. If you like today's project, make sure you check out the two that are about to pop up here on the screen for more creative inspiration.